Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you on how to make good blender animations, but even better this time. I am not going to be really doing much really, but I'm just going to be explaining this tutorial even better this time, so yeah. Oh yeah, and by the way, before we get into the video, please become a channel membership if you want to support the channel. It only costs $2 a month, so yeah. And if you buy the channel member, you always get a shout out at the end of the video, so yeah. Okay, so the three things we are going to want to need is Blender, Nacho Engine's IK Rig, and some cosmetics to put on the monkey, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing we need, of course, is Blender, so you can just open up your browser and search up Blender. Or if you don't want to open up your browser, that's fine. You can just go into the link in the description and it'll bring you straight to here. Then you're going to want to download Blender and it's going to tell you a whole bunch of stuff, so yeah. Once you finish downloading the latest version of Blender, you're going to want to go to my Discord server, which is in the link in the description. Once you're on my Discord server, you're going to want to go to the downloads and go to Nacho Engine's IK Rig. Okay, so once you're in the channel, you're going to want to scroll up and click on this. You can use this one, but I recommend using this one because literally it has everything like... A lot of people were um having problems with so yeah okay so now you're gonna want to click this little download button so just click on it and you can see it just finished downloading now what you're gonna want to do is go back to the downloads go to all cosmetics click on this and you might be thinking there is no download button but of course there always is go to code and click download zip and it does take a while so yeah once you finish downloading it you're going to want to drag it to your desktop uh, right click and click extract all and you're just going to want to click extract now you see all gorilla tag cosmetics main you're going to want to um you already have it on pack so yeah you can delete the zip and there you go you can just keep this in your desktop it doesn't really matter i'm just going to leave it there so yeah okay so you might think we have everything done and we can open blender now but not yet you're going to want to go to hat textures and you're going to want to go here these are all the textures and all of these are the seasonal textures. So if you're going to use like a, let's say, um, normal cosmetic from City or like, I don't know, uh, you're just going to want to use this one. You're going to left click on it and you're going to want to click save image. So yeah, once you did that, now you can open up Blender. Okay, so once you have Blender open, you're going to want to go to file, click open. And now you're going to go to the downloads and you're going to click on Gorilla Tag IK Rig. Once you open the Gorilla Tag IK Rig, you can see this. And in order to move in Blender, you can use your, um, you had to hold on your mouse uh, scroll wheel thing. So yeah, like that. And also, if you want to like move like this, you had to hold your mouse scroll wheel and also uh, click shift. So like that, you know. Okay, so now once we have this, you're going to want to go right here, go to viewport shading. And you can see the monkey looks kind of sad, to be honest. So you're going to want to click on the light. And you're going to want to put the strength up to 15. Now you're going to want to go to shadow, click contact shadows, and there you go. And if you want the monkey to be flat, which I do, you're going to want to go to subsurface and put this all the way down. And you can see it becomes flat. And also, you can turn down color emission if you want the monkey to be darker. But uh, I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay, so quick thing. Um, if you want to make this like a lava monkey or a dirt stone monkey or ice monkey right here If you go in the material make sure you're clicking on the mesh uh, If you put this up to one uh, you can see it turns into that same thing with lava monkey and same thing with ice monkey And by the way, if you want this to have some glossiness uh, Go to glossy strength and put this at point one But that's if you want to you can see if we put it all the way up. It just goes like that and also, quick thing, if you want to change your color, go right here, and you can change it uh, by sliding it all around. But I'm just going to leave it uh, with as white, so yeah. And sorry I didn't mention this earlier, but if you want to redo something you did, click Control z And if you want to change the name, uh, click on the name, click Tab, uh, Delete, and you can just type in uh, whatever you want. If I want my name to be uh, Ansel, Dobos, blah, 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 never mind. And also, quick thing, go right here and click that so you can open this little menu tab. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And sorry I didn't mention this earlier. If you want a map in the, um, what's it called, in the game thingy, you're going to want to go to Nacho Engine's uh, Discord server, which is in the link in the description. So, yeah. Once you are in Nacho's server, you're going to want to scroll down until you see map assets. And this is um, everything. So, yeah. 
and by the way uh all the maps aren't uh updated to the latest version so yeah um they do take a while uh so yeah and you can just click on the gorilla tag metropolis zip it may say uh potential dangerous download but it's not dangerous at all it doesn't even give you a virus once you're finished downloading it you're gonna want to go back to your desktop and drag and drop it to your desktop now i'm not going to extract or anything because i already have it but i'm going to teach you on how to extract it you're just gonna want to right click on the zip and click extract all and then extract now we can open up blender again once you're back in blender you're gonna want to go to file click append go to desktop Go to Gorilla Tag Metropolis Blend. Go to Collection. And now we can put in Forest. Now you can see we have this, but I'm going to click Control Z for now because we need to actually add cosmetics to this monkey. Okay, so click on File. Go to Import. Click FBX. Go to your desktop. And you're going to want to put right here where it says All Gorilla Tag Cosmetics Main. And click on it again. Okay, so sorry, quick thing. You're gonna wanna go back to your desktop, double click on this, go here, click on the cosmetics, cosmetics, or actually, uh, sorry, go back and then drag that. That's why um, you didn't have, if you were having problems, it didn't work. That's because uh, the cosmetics was in a zip folder. I don't know, just do it. Now you can open up Blender again, go to file, click import, click FBX, go to your desktop, go to cosmetics. And now I'm gonna click hat slash face and I'm gonna put the top hat on. But make sure you put, uh, you know, this one, it's a uh, capital top hat, but I'm gonna put uh, the one that has, has lowercase top hat, so yeah. Now you can adjust it like, that uh wherever you want it doesn't really matter so yeah and also go to render click ambient occlusion uh put this at five or you can either put it at a uh, one now you're gonna want to go to shadows cook the click this sorry and then put this uh um the max sorry now you're gonna want to click on the hat go to shading uh you're gonna want to scroll up click on this make sure this is closest click open go to your desktop or wherever you stored um the thing we just downloaded so yeah and when i mean the thing we just downloaded i mean the uh textures we downloaded from the discord so yeah now this is where i keep my textures and i'm gonna click hat last since i'm just using the top hat so yeah and by the way what i like to do on the top hat is i like to click tab right here i like to click on all of these things and once i finish clicking on all of them i go to material click this little plus button click new click assign and I put this on emission. And I put this up to 10. Honestly, I just do this because it looks really cool. So yeah. Now you're going to want to click on the top hat. Click on the rig. Go to pose mode. Click on the head. Click control P. Click bone. And there you go. Now you can go back to object mode. And yeah. And you can of course add more cosmetics. You just have to go back to file. Import FBX. And right here you can do the same thing. So yeah. And also, if you want to add like badges and stuff, go back to the cosmetics, uh, click on badges. And um, let's say I want this camping backpack because that's my what I actually wear. I'm gonna rotate it negative 90 degrees. And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna click on it, uh, right click, click shade flat. And I'm just gonna adjust it, so yeah. And I'm going to do the same thing by getting the texture. By the way, quick thing, not everything is the hat last texture. So uh, you're going to want to download all of uh, these things I put on my Discord server. So yeah. And also remember to do the same thing. Click on this. Uh, click on the rig. Make sure you're shift clicking. And click control P. Uh, but this time on the bottom. So yeah. Now we can actually start the real animating. Go to file. Click append. And make sure uh, you're on your desktop, Gorilla Tag Metropolis Blend, uh, go to collection. And I'm just gonna put in forest, but you can put anything you want. By the way, if you don't see forest in here, um, you have to go to file, click append, and search up tree room. And there you go, uh, stump is there, or tree room you could say, so yeah. And now you're just gonna wanna click on your rig and move the monkey wherever you want to be, so yeah. I'm just going to move the monkey like on top of here because why not? I'm just gonna move it, boom, pam, pop. And then there you go, this is where I'm going to put my scene and stuff, so yeah. 
gonna want to click on the rig make sure you're still clicking it go to object mode click on that go to pose mode and now we can just adjust it however we want so same thing with the hands uh, you're just gonna want to adjust it and rotate it however you want so yeah and there you go i'm just gonna put it like that and also if you don't want both arms to move um what i recommend you doing is click on the x and there you go only one arm moves so yeah and by the way what i like to do is click on this thing uh rotate it and put it at negative 10 and then i like to move the head at um negative 10 too so yeah negative 10 there you go and it looks way better you can see now you could do whatever you want so i'm going to teach you on how to animate like i said so click on this thing go to pose mode and go right here make sure you're on the timeline editor uh zoom in with your scroll wheel so you're here and uh wait sorry you're gonna want to go to output good frame rate click on uh fps make sure that's at 60 so yeah now you can click this little record button and what you're gonna want to do is um you can see if um you're gonna want to select on everything like everything just move it like you don't even have to move it you just have to like click on it and there you go and now if oh man it didn't really do it so i had to do it for all of them make sure you do this for all of them or else uh it won't really work so yeah now once we are here let's say i move to frame 80 and i put this up you could see if we click this play animation you see it does that and i think you know where we're going with this so yeah you could literally do anything you want so yeah i'm just going to catch you guys back up so yeah and by the way make sure you have an idea or else um all of this will be useless to you so yeah Okay, so once you finish making your animation, you're gonna wanna click on here, go to cursor, and put it around where your animation is. Click Shift A, but make sure you're in object mode. Um, and then you're gonna wanna click camera. Click this little toggle to camera view. Click N. You're gonna see this menu pop up, go to view, click camera to view. And you're just gonna wanna like position it right here. Make sure, and also to move it, you uh, shift uh, mouse, mouse thingy so yeah and just do that and stuff so yeah and by the way if um you want the camera to look better go click on your cursor again but this time click on like right here where the monkey is click shift a click um create empty empty plane axis and there you go you're gonna want to put it like right here on front make sure there uh make sure you're clicking on it make and then click on the rig go to pose mode click on the head click Control p and click bone then once you do that you're gonna want to click on the camera and what you're gonna want to do um is you're gonna want to click depth of field and you're gonna see everything is blurry click right here and click on the empty and there you go and also make sure you're clicking on the camera so exit out of the camera view click on that and go to camera click right here on uh constraints add object constraints and click track two right here click on the uh empty and you can see when it plays it follows the empty but if you don't want it to follow the empty click on the girl tag uh ik rig click on the bone and click torso or whatever one you want or head i don't know uh, i'm going to click on uh the head so yeah Actually, sorry, never mind. I'm going to click torso. It just looks better. And you can see if we pause it and play, it just looks better. I mean, it's barely moving, but you can see it just looks a lot better, you know? So, yeah. And when your animation ends, uh, you're going to want to go 10 frames out. And um, right here, go to output right here. You're going to want to go 10 frames out. So, I ended my animation at 440. And I'm gonna go 10 frames out and put it this at 450 right here. So yeah. And yeah, that's really all you have to do. But before we finish this video, click right here. Or actually go to minimize. Make sure you don't close out. And right click, show more options, click new, new folder. Go right here to blender. Click this little file button, go to your desktop, new folder, 
except render animation and it does take a while but it will be worth it so yeah just give it a sec okay so once this thing finished rendering uh you're gonna want to x out and you can click Control s to save the project uh just in case and also if you want to create more animations just download more girl attack ik rig so yeah and now if we open up the folder and we double click on it you can see it actually plays it so that's pretty sick for my uh animation thing it's only seven seconds because i made it short um this is just a tutorial so i'm not gonna make it that long so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial comment down below if this one was better and also like i said in the beginning um channel memberships get a shout out and here are the people who became a channel member so yeah anyways have an amazing rest of your day it's me squishy i'm out bye